I1 Profiler allows you to save and apply configurations, measurements, and preferred settings, the building blocks of a profile creation workflow. Once saved, these workflows can be reused to build future profiles or shared with others. Let's take a look at i1 Profiler's powerful user interface and features, starting with the home page. If you click on the arrow next to Application Information, you can see your current version. You can also check for a software update and receive a notification when a new version is available. Under Licensing is a list of features licensed in your software. Each feature will have a green check for licensed or a red question mark for unlicensed. User Mode offers two types of profile creation workflows, Basic and Advanced. Basic Mode provides a simplified workflow. Let's take a look at that first. With Basic User Mode selected, click the Printer Profiling button. On the left side of this window is where additional help will be provided. As you move your cursor over items in the software, information about the item will show up here. At the bottom of this window is a workflow diagram with all of the steps required to make a printer profile. As you finish each step, click on the Next button or click the next step in the workflow. The workflow will advance and the indicators will move to the next item. If you wish to return to the beginning of the process, just click the Home button. The display profiling process works the same way. To learn more about how to profile your display and printer, watch the Display Profiling and Basic Printer Profiling training sections here under Training Videos. Now, let's take a look at the Advanced User Mode to access customizable workflows and advanced features. Select the Advanced Radio button. Listed here in the Workflow Selector window are several default workflows. They include more advanced features that are available in Basic Mode. To see workflows that you create, click Switch to Saved Workflows. They are organized here in folders, based on the type of profile. Click Switch to Preset Workflows to return. Let's take a look at an advanced RGB printer profiling workflow. Select RGB Printer from the Device Selection drop-down. Then select Printer Profiling from Workflow Selection. This workflow functions the same as the workflow in basic mode, but it's customizable. Start on the far left, then click to complete each step in order to build a profile. Some of the steps will have more options than in basic mode, but the process is the same. This question mark button will bring up the Help dialogs. To hide them, click the button again. When Help is turned off, the left pane shows the available assets. These can include things such as test chart layouts, measurement data, lighting settings, and saved workflows. As you move through the profiling process, you can save any step as an asset by clicking this Save button. Let's take a look at the types of assets and how you can use them. Here we have Patch Sets. Each patch set includes a different number of patches that can be used to make a test chart. You can select one of the patch sets and drag it to the patch set icon in the workflow. This will change all of the settings to match those saved in that patch set asset. Test chart assets are arrangements of patch sets formatted for a specific page size and measurement device. You can drag and drop an asset on the test chart icon to use all its test chart and patch set settings. Or, you can drop it onto the Patch Set icon if you only want to use the Patch Set settings that are stored in this Test Chart asset. Measurement Data Assets store all of the settings for a Patch Set, Test Chart, and the measurement data for that printer. If you drag and drop this asset to the Measurement icon, you can build a new profile for that printer. Or, if you choose to drop this asset onto the Patch Set, only the Patch Set data will be used from this asset. If you drop it onto the Test Chart step, the Patch Set and the Test Chart information will be used. If you select a Lighting Asset, it can only be dropped onto the Lighting step. Just like the other assets, you can create and save your own lighting conditions, then apply them here. As you can see, some assets can be dropped onto the step they represent, or any step that is done prior to it, and will use all of the information from the asset to set up the options and data for that chosen step and all of the steps prior to it.
Other assets can only be dropped onto the step they describe. A previously built ICC profile has all of the information for each of these steps. The profile can be dragged and dropped onto any step in the workflow and will populate all of the prior steps with the required information. You can save a custom workflow by clicking on this button. Once saved, it will show up here under Saved Workflows. Please view the other training modules for more detailed information on creating profiles and the other features of i1 Profiler. If you require assistance with technical issues in i1 Profiler, please visit us online. To find out more about our advanced color management workflow training options, be sure to check out x Color Services on the web.